Now that you know how chords work and how to build chords based on each letter of the scale, we're going to learn how to create a chord progression, which will be a harmonic foundation for any song. Okay, a common one is one, five, six, four. Now based on the chord chart that you've seen or that I'll show you, what does that mean? Well, let's look at our eight tones of the scale. Okay, so we're always keeping in mind C is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if our chord progression is one, five, then we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, and four. Okay, so one would be C, five is G, one, two, three, four, five, six is A, and then four is F. One, five, six, four. Okay, now we need to take each of those, one, five, six, and four, and build a chord on each. And how do we build a chord? We learn that it's one, three, five. Okay, so our one chord, our C chord, is C, E, G. Then the next in our progression is what number? It's five, so we're gonna move up to G and start here and do one, three, five. So that's our number five chord progression. Then we go to six, so we start on A and go one, three, five. And lastly, we need to do four, okay? So the progression would look like this, one, starting on C1, G, starting on our fifth note, so that's one, five, six, starting on our sixth note, and then four, starting on our fourth note of the scale. One, five, six, and then four, okay? And our lesson, it's also showing us that each of those chords gets four beats. So it'd be one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, four, two. Let's see how that sounds. All right, ready, go. C, G, A, two, three, four, F. Now we have a progression and that's gonna repeat. in my left hand here was the chord progression one five six four each one a total of four beats one two three four one two. and that is a harmonic foundation for a song my right hand started playing around with what we would call melody okay I could also sing with it let's try that one day my kids learned how to make chords and make a chord progression using one five then you go to six and end the progression on four actually end on one so it sounds right <laughs> okay so now we're going to use what we've learned and create a harmonic foundation of chords in our GarageBand project.